Supreme Rising family. It's your sister from another Mr. Lovely Fly Shy back with another video. Okay, you guys, so I just made, um, I just recorded one. So that may or may not get posted, I don't know. But I have a message that was literally just dropped on me. Like I literally just got this download. Can you guys see me? All right, so I wanna talk about something um, that has really been like on my heart lately. And um, this is a topic, it's mainly for the women, you know, I'm a woman, so I want to talk to the women, but men are more than welcome to join the topic of discussion as well. I'm not sure what I want to title this video. Um, God willing, y'all willing, it will turn out the way I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing it and envisioning and hearing it in my mind, right? So basically, here go the sirens per usual. Anyway, <laughs> basically though, um, I want to talk about women today. And I want to talk about how holding on to the wrong relationships, the wrong uh, romantic relationships and partnerships, connections, things of that nature, um, how that can truly hinder you, how that can take away your time, your energy, your youth, you know, especially when you are holding someone down, you know, you are holding it down while this person is, you know, whether they have a dream, whether they have a vision or whatever it is that this said person is doing, you know, you are the one that is sacrificing yourself, your wish fulfillments, your desires, your dreams to say, for example, holding somebody down in jail. Why would like, I'm not saying don't hold someone down in jail, like if you all have an actual connection, things of that nature, but um, oftentimes, more oftentimes than not, like these people get out of jail and they totally forget about what you did and everything. You know, they, um, you know, will mess with other people, all types of stuff that they'll do behind your back, ladies. And this is the year for us to attract I don't want to say find but I, I like the word attract better than chase or find because you know the energy will always find us but this is the year for us to be valued this is the year for us to be held down and believed in all right this is the year for someone to be patient you know whether we are starting from the bottom where whether we are starting from ground zero we need that same individual that has the same energy that we offer within themselves that can reciprocate that to us you know that can be there for us as well you know all the times especially in movies but it's really happening in real life you see people they they make it big but they forget about the little leagues they they forget about the underdogs that that was lifting them up, that was pulling them up during them seasons and during them times of their elevation, during the times of their early success and their humble beginnings. And I would just hate to see high value women, you know, use their, excuse me, lose their youth, you know, their beauty, their grace, you know, and, and just their total char char charis charisma, excuse me, I can't even talk, <clears throat> um, behind a man right or behind a boy because a man a real man would believe in you you know a real man someone who actually really loves cares for you cherishes you they will understand your vision you know they will understand like you know what whether she has it all right now I know that someday she will that same way that you all ladies are able to you know, pull a brother up. You need that same pulling up too. You know, you need to be able to submit to someone who has the same energy as you. I was just speaking to someone earlier and um, <laughs> my, little, my little friend, <laughs> but um, you know, he and I were talking and like, he's just, he's just a really nice guy. Um, but anywho, back to the point, I'm always like blushing and like just doing like really awkward things on camera. <laughs> but you guys, seriously, we were talking though. And he was just like, you know, I, I believe in you. And I don't think I've ever had a man tell me that before. Like, you know that I actually know I'm not talking about like subscribers or anything like that but I mean like people that personally know me on a real level he was like 
you know, I believe in you. I, he was like, I, I want to learn from you. Like, he's so eager. And I'm like, well, we can learn from each other, you know. Um, but it, it just really, it just really um, inspired this message, you all. Because that is what the high value women of today need. Like, my, my taste in men has totally changed. After some deep revelations were revealed to me, some deep truths and such about certain people, I was just like, oh, damn. So you really felt like that. Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't believe in me. You didn't see my worth. You didn't see my value. All right, well, keep that same energy because this is merely the beginning. You know, God ain't even done with me yet. That's the sad part. People will bounce the instant things is getting hard, the instant things get hard, these people will bounce. They will chunk up the deuces on you fast and, and go right on to the next and see how they can deplete the next from whatever energy or, or source of supply they need. And that's how you know most of the time these energies are narcissists. <clears throat> you know, especially like, for example, if you held them down or if you were there for them, whatever. Like, pe that's another thing. People always think that being there for someone has, ha have, has to have something to do with giving money or giving material or anything. My energy is more expensive. My energy costs more than money and material, for one. So if I allow you into my space, if I, if I share my energy with you, and then you turn around and fluke on me, you turn around and... and, and and be on that uh, okie doke stuff with me? Oh, well then you, my friend, <clears throat> have really lost a good thing. And ladies, you don't need to go around proving your worth to anyone either. You really and truly don't. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's quite pathetic. You never want to prove your worth to people, especially people that walked out of your life. Because guess what? They're going to walk, excuse me, watch a real man walk into your life and love you the way that you have always deserved to be loved you know you know you will be loved in the same measure in which you give love and i see it i see a lot of kingdom spouses i, I see a lot of um t twin flame unisons twin flame connections soulmate connections i see it and i mean true divine connections full of you know essence and and um, longevity, right? And um, it's just funny how we can invest women, we can invest so many years, so much time, so much energy into a person only to realize we never really knew them anyways, you know? And that's what a part of this journey is about as well. You know, being able to decipher the truth from the lies, being able to see the dark and the light in people. And I have that ability, you know? just like many of you and um again this is not the year to be holding on to someone for dear life if people want to go let them go let them go i ain't begging a soul to be on my team i am down to <clears throat> in terms of like who who is in my space like you know i'm down to and i'm totally okay with that I don't feel lonely. I don't feel sad. I'm not depressed. I was more depressed, sad, and lonely trying to hold on to these mofos. Trying to hold on to people, trying to figure out, dang, why am I not why am I not enough? Knowing damn well I was past enough. I was more than enough. <clears throat> Just like many of you. The fact of the matter is a lot of this, a lot of this stuff has to do with the fact that people just be so just vain, so superficial so worldly that they forget that love is above all of what they put in the forefronts of their lives money materialism you know fancy clothes cars females uh, dudes whatever you know but most of the time these narcissistic energies simply attract karmic energies they attract the same people that they who who they are inside is who they attract you know and that's why i was like yeah it's just better i'm just better off you know for the time being that is single until that special one sweeps me off of my feet <laughs> but i am in no rush however for it you know i have really been enjoying these 
months it's actually it's been years of solitude and, and, and singleness um you know it's just once I get a glimpse of a person's energy that has like I don't know has tried to come forth and shoot their shot and it's like not on my same wavelength wavelength it's just like okay yeah deuces <laughs> Because I'm just not settling this year, you guys. We're not settling, ladies. We're not settling. <clears throat> We're not being complacent. We're not chasing. We're attracting. All right? We don't chase. We attract. We don't chase. We replace. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm always trying to rhyme. Hey, drop a comment if you want to hear one of the songs that I wrote. It's a rap, you guys. So I'm, I'm real, Now, I'm be honest. I'm nervous about that. I don't know if I want to show you guys like my rapping skills. Like I can actually rap though, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. That wasn't the point. Um, let me pull my pants up. Child, I'm losing weight. Man. This damn walking, Lord have mercy. Oh, all right. Let me go find my trainer, y'all. But <laughs> I hope you all took heed to the message, ladies. Um, I know whether it was in your past, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever. Um, stop holding these men or these boys down. Yeah, excuse me, Lord. Stop holding these boys down who wouldn't even hold you down if the shoe was on the other foot. If you was down bad, if you was broke, if you was whatever, would they have that same respect for you? Would they have the same regard for you to, to have patience with you and to believe in you? Because that's all people need sometimes is for a person to just believe in them. Pull them up when they are down. Let them know that, look, I see that you are going through something, baby. I know that you are hurting, but you are going to make it. I believe you are going to make it. I can see it. <clears throat> you have potential. You know, I feel like a lot of you have overexerted your energy into people who did not even deserve you. They did not even deserve you. They didn't deserve to have access to you at all. And I just, I feel like a lot of you have just been like, I want to say just in a period of feeling like, oh, like, I don't know, like, I, it's just, I don't know, it's conflicting energies. I'll, I'll say that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's conflicting energies. One minute you're like, oh, did I make the right choice in leaving this person alone? And then the next, uh, the next breath you guys are like, oh, I miss so-and-so and da-da-da-da-da, -and but... I'm here to tell you, no, you don't. A lot of y'all, sorry to say it, but <clears throat> you miss that abuse. You miss that neglect. You miss that mistreatment from them. You know, I know, but that is how psychology works. And that oftentimes, that's how our mind is wired. Stockholm syndrome is real, you know, especially when you guys have dealt with narcissists. It's so real, you know. So, um, anywho, I got to get back to work, you guys. Um, but I hope this message touched you. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Share this video, okay? Share this video with your sister, your auntie, your cousin, your mother, grandmother, whoever. <laughs> Just share this with a woman because there is a lady, there is a woman out there right now who needs to hear this. Who needs to hear that she is worth so much more and that she does not need to settle for less than she deserves because baby this is the winning season right this is the season for the high value women to arise all right and with that said peace love and supreme healing to all my supreme beings out there i love you guys so so much you guys don't even know